Nicodemus said, Unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, You must be born again. Man has his own political agenda. We're seeing the nation shaking. We're seeing America shaking. And revolution is on the cards. And men try to build politically a will. But the political will not stand. Jesus has a kingdom that is greater than the political. His kingdom is a spiritual kingdom. And he says how you can get into that kingdom. How you get into the eternal kingdom if you want to go to heaven and want to go to glory is this. You must be born again. Being born again is by the power of the Holy Ghost coming into your life. It is the power of the Holy Spirit coming in. Where the Holy Spirit comes in and changes you and gives you a new heart, a new mind, a new vision, a new life. The Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace. And when the kingdom of God comes into your heart, you're a new man and a new creature. The old has passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Men are building a political power. They're building politically. But political will not do. The political sphere of man will collapse. The political sphere of man will not stand. And the only kingdom that will stand is the eternal kingdom of God. And the eternal kingdom of God came in Jesus Christ who came and died on that cross. And when he came and died on that cross and shed his blood on that cross, he showed what the kingdom was. A kingdom of love. A kingdom where the Saviour gave his life for you and me. And that Saviour invites you to the kingdom. He invites you to his eternal kingdom. He invites you to taste and see that the Lord is good. He invites you to the love and banquet of God to know His mercy and grace and love. And He invites you to that. Don't rest on the kingdom of man. For the kingdom of man will collapse. The kingdom of man will fall. The kingdom of man will break up. We'll see in America fall apart. And we'll see other nations fall apart. Until men and women and boys and girls come to the kingdom of Christ. And to know there is an eternal kingdom, an eternal kingdom, and a kingdom of Christ who is over all nations, over all peoples, and he is the King of kings and Lord of lords. And the only kingdom we're standing in is the eternal kingdom of God in Jesus Christ. And he invites you to come and taste and see that the Lord is good. To taste and see of his goodness and his love. To taste and see by faith in Him, by faith in Christ, by faith in the Lord and know that He can forgive you and restore you today. He can put a new life in you, a new vision. But if you hold on to this world, if you hold on to the vanity of this world and the pleasures of this world and the fame and the power of this world, if you hold on to it, it will drag you right into hell. But if you cling to Christ, and trust Him as your Lord and Saviour. He will resurrect you and you'll be with Him forever in eternity. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. He is the resurrection and the life. He destroyed death. He destroyed death. We are building a kingdom that is falling apart. There is a professor at Princeton University a great mighty professor at Princeton University who believes a chicken is more valuable than a human being. That is the kind of society and culture that the West is in. It is collapsing and breaking up. And there is no future in the West if the West continues to trample on the Word of God. But God has an eternal kingdom. A kingdom that lasts forever. A kingdom of his love and mercy. A kingdom of his grace and salvation. I say, you okay? Hey. You alright? Hey. 
You're doing a good job down there. I'll show you. Thank you much. Yeah. How long have you been out there today? Uh, about five hours. Yeah. Five hours? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's nice to see you, sir. Yeah. It is eternal kingdom. God's kingdom is eternal. Russell Brand the other day said he believed that we had a soul and they believed that we, we needed to seek spirituality. How do we find spirituality? Jesus says, you must be born again. Born again of God. Born again of the Holy Ghost. Where the mighty power of God comes in your life. If you continue to build on man and if you continue to build on your own righteousness then you hit the rock of Christ the great rock the great saviour who said this he said one day he's coming back he said that we can be saved by believing in him he said I am the way the truth and the life he said, out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. He offers that to you today. He died and rose again. And one day he's coming back. And my friends, you're holding on to a sinking ship. You're holding on to a sinking ship that is sinking. The sinking sands of secularism is sinking. And it'll take you down to hell. And it is sinking and sinking and sinking. And you need to pull up and realize that the only hope today is Christ. The only hope for your salvation is Christ. The only hope today is in Him. He is the one that died and rose again. He is the one that loves you more than anybody else. The government sees you as a statistic. You're not a statistic. You're a human being with dignity and value. That's why Jesus died for you on that cross. You're not, as Dawkins would say, a little speck on the edge of the universe. You're a human being with dignity and value. <laughs> Professor Pinker at Princeton University thinks a chicken is more worthy of you. I beg to differ. You are more worthy than a chicken. And Jesus Christ died on that cross for you and gave his life for you, that you may live. My friends, please, please take heed. Hear what God is giving you. He's giving you eternal life. He's giving you his blessing. He's giving you new life, new future, new opportunity, and he commands you to repent. He commands me, and he commands you to repent. That is to be sorrowful for the lies. Sorrowful for the hate, sorrowful for the anger, sorrowful for the adultery, sorrowful for the hatred, sorrowful for these things. We have to be sorrowful. We have to be sorrowful for these things. We have to be sorrowful for these things. We have to be sorrowful for these things. Okay, so God bless you. We have to be sorrowful for these things. Excuse me, would you please? Please, please. Can you speak? I'm, I'm asking you politely. Would you please speak? She's going in there now. Yeah, she's going to preach when she goes in there. Yeah, I'm just asking you politely. When she goes in there, I'm going to preach. Oh, you've really took an aggressive, aggressive when stance. When she goes in there, I'll preach. You've really took an aggressive stance. I'm coming in attack, sir. You, you really ad took an aggressive... Ad ad you keep interrupting me, it's sir. Ad hominem. God bless you, sir. You Have a lovely day. Have a lovely day. Respect whatever you believe. Jesus Christ died on that cross. You're very rude, aren't Shed you, sir? He shed his blood on that cross and he gave his life to you. Is this part of your... Sir, what are you doing to I'm, be rude I'm here to, to preach, sir. I'm not I know, I just called to ask you, maybe... Jesus Christ I'm not, died on that I'm cross. I'm not... I'm, I'm just asking you something very politely. And you're ignoring me, being very rude. for you on that cross. He shed his blood for you on that cross. He died for you on that cross. You appear and to be very rude, man. And if you sir. turn to him, that's ad hominem. God bless no, you, sir. No, you see how there's more Jesus people right now. He gave right? his yeah. life for you on that cross. No, he shed that. his blood for you on that cross. Say the same he thing. He died on, on that cross. Because it's so important. It's more than hard to know him as your savior. To know him as your savior. Very, very rude to me. God bless you. Ad hominem. No, you are not keep me Jesus loves you. He died for you. Jesus loves you, sir. Jesus loves you, sir. Jesus loves you. God bless you. Jesus loves you, sir. 
Jesus loves you. God bless you, sir. Jesus died on that cross. He gave his life for you. He shed his blood for you on that cross. And he loved you. He died for you on that cross. And he wants you to trust him today. I'm here to share with you the love of God. I'm here to share the peace of God today. That you may know his love. God bless you. That he may know his peace. That he may right, anyway, know his love, that he may know his grace. Don't touch me, sir. Please don't touch me. Or you're a footballer. Don't touch me, sir. You fall on the floor and we're going like... Don't touch me. That was assault, sir. <laughs> Jesus Christ Did everybody witness that? Blood. What he just he did? His blood that was like a footballer. He gave his life for you on that cross and he wants you to come to him. And was, you, was you here when I first turned up? I'm not I'm not bullying anybody. He was very rude. He was very rude to me. No, I wasn't. Jesus Christ died on that cross. He shed his blood for you on that cross. He gave his life for you on that cross. He died on that cross. He shed his blood for you on that cross. I'm here to preach. I'm here to preach. I'm here to preach. I'm here to preach. I'm not here to argue, sir. Jesus Christ died on that cross. He shed his blood for you. We just want to talk And Jesus to you, says, you must be born again. That's very ignorant, that. Exactly. If you stop being abusive, I'll I talk to you. a question. Are you the guy who's been banned from Manchester City Centre? No, I'm not. No, I'm not, sir. No, I'm not. Well, you could be. No, I'm not. It's called Miguel, not me, sir. Jesus Christ died on that cross and he gave his life for you and shed his blood for you on that cross. See, this is the noise of He gave his life for you on that cross. He shed his blood for you on that cross. He died on that cross. He gave his life for you on that cross. He on that cross. Film me, yeah, film me. He died on that cross. I'm just here to preach the gospel. I know, I'm just here to talk to you, but you're being very rude to people. I'm not being abusive, sir. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you in a minute when he starts being abusive. He's trying to close me down. And I'm here to preach, you see, but I'm willing to talk to you anytime. Jesus gave his life for you on that cross. Jesus says you must be born again. You must be born again. You must be born again. We must be born again. Jesus Christ gave his life for you on that cross. He shed his blood for you on that cross. And so, Lord, trust him as your savior. Trust him as your Lord today. Trust him as your king. It's an argument. Trust him as your king. Trust him as your Lord today. Jesus loves you today. Jesus loves you. Jesus gave his life for you. He shed his blood for you. He gave his life for you on that cross. He shed his blood for you on that cross. And he wants you to have life and peace and joy in your life. He, Jesus loves you. He died for you. He gave his life for you. He shed his blood for you on that cross. And he loves you today. Trust him as your Lord. Trust him as your Savior. Barry, you are precious. You are special. Barry, you are lovely people. May God bless you. Jesus loves you. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Jesus gave his life for you on that cross. May you know his peace. May you know his love. May you know his joy. May you know his comfort. May you know his grace today. God bless you. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let Jesus shine in your life. God bless you, Barry. Have a lovely day. It's lovely to be with you. God bless you.